So Suresh, a very warm welcome to the podcast in the series, Agentic AI for Enterprise Leaders. And especially on today's episode, using Agentic AI in tables automation. Thanks uh, for investing this time on this podcast. Uh, great to meet you here. So tell us about your experience, journey, your customers, benefit, the kind of benefits that your customer has got. Accounts payables is a very mundane, boring process for many organizations and also cumbersome uh, in terms of not being able to uh, achieve the pinnacle of automation because of various inefficiencies in the processes companies has. So AP always has been a focus for Mindsprint. We have gone through various maturity curves in terms of how we can uh, use technology to make it more efficient and seamless and more importantly to a point where it could be done without any human intervention. So I would say in the last uh, four years or so, our AP processes were using a lot of RPAs in helping uh, processing payments efficiently. But we have now created a platform called PayX, uh, what we call as a touchless uh, payment processing platform, uh, which has multiple agents uh, built in working together as one uh, autonomous agent that does multiple roles right from scanning emails, responding to suppliers on emails based on the context of the language that is there in the emails, uh, to an agent that does uh, what we call as uh, intelligent extraction of extracting content from invoices uh, and then it could scan and read more than 100 languages. So extracting the content from uh, invoices in multiple languages in different formats and uploading into ERP after doing multiple validation checks. So there is a validation agent which would uh, check the uh, procedures and policies uh, applicable for that company in terms of a two-way matching or a three-way matching. So tell us how how does it handle multiple formats? Because every supplier has a different format and they will not be giving in the format that you want. And you also mentioned multiple languages. Yeah. So how are you able to transform and what's the kind of degree of accuracy that you have seen in the process? I think uh, the uh, the ability to handle multiple formats and multiple languages is purely because uh, of uh, the intelligent extraction agent that we have. The accuracy fact that you mentioned, see, we uh, are able to improve on accuracy continuously because the A component also does a process mining. So as it is processing invoices, as it experiences delays and hurdles in the processes, it also learns which allows us to come up with uh, new solutions to uh, modify our capabilities. So the process mining that continuously works at the back end helps to improve accuracy over a period of time. So when does human come in picture at all or is it you the don't human, need anybody? No, no, the humans uh, come in terms of uh, dashboards to monitor the whole AP service. So we have dashboards that would give uh, 24 by 7 uh, inputs on what's happening in the AP. How many invoices are on queue? How many invoices have got rejected? What is the noise uh, being created in the processes? What does the process mining agent uh, give in terms of why certain invoices are not going through uh, uh, you know, touchless payment? So this uh, dashboard allows a human who is responsible for the AP function to be able to better use the time in uh, solving out and solving for exceptions rather than looking at whether every invoice is being correctly processed and paid or not. So that's where the human intervention comes in place. And uh, you mentioned that uh, you respond to the suppliers intelligently. So let's explain a bit. Uh, the intelligent response also is able to read the context and the mood of the emails that come from the suppliers. So if there is a standard invoice query coming in, it could reply in terms of the invoices in queue or it's processed or it has already been paid. But if there is an agitated uh, email coming in that could guess the mood and probably escalate where a human could uh, intervene and ensure there is a personal touch with an important supplier and not leave it to uh, an agent to respond for an agitated uh, you know, uh, situation that a supplier is uh, facing. 
and is the offering tied to SAP or you know any system? Can... We have linked it to SAP because uh, Olam uses SAP, but it is uh, interfaceable with uh, any ERP. So I can use Oracle in for yeah yeah. Yeah, and uh, we have built this system for OLAM with uh, open text, but it could be also built with any uh, open source systems, which would make it affordable and easily accessible for uh, uh, any number of. Uh, and uh, you will be LLM agnostic, or do you are you tight to any LLM? No agnostic. So on this note, I think thank you so much, Suresh. Great to have you on this podcast, and look forward to the next edition. Thank you. Thank you, Virender. Thanks for uh, this time and uh, enjoyed the discussion with you. Have a good day.